Hi everybody, welcome to Boxing Time. On this channel you will learn a lot of news from the world of boxing. So here we go. The highly unlikely clash between Conor Ben and Gervonta Davis has officially fallen through the cracks. Ben's promoter Eddie Hearn informed the boxing public on Monday that Davis punted on an offer that was presented. In recent weeks, Tank has teased a tilt with the second-generation British star. With Davis now out of the picture, former two-division champion Danny Garcia has stepped up to the plate and called out Ben for a potential clash. I would love to fight him at 154, Garcia told YSM Sports Media. That makes great sense. He wants to fight a big name, Garcia versus Ben. There ain't no bigger fight than fighting Danny Garcia. So, I would love that fight. Stylistically, that's a great fight for me, and that's a fight that I would love at 154, not at 147. They already know what time it is. I don't dug no smoke. I'm about to change my middle name from Swift to Smoke. Garcia, 37 and 3 with 21 knockouts, said he'd even be open to fighting Ben, 23 to 0, 14 KOs, in the United Kingdom. Once Ben is cleared to fight on home soil, once his ongoing performance-enhancing drug ordeal is settled. Ben's last two wins have taken place in the United States. If the price is right, I would go anywhere to fight Ben, said Garcia. I watched the Dobson fight. I thought he did good. Dobson was gritty, though. He fought. He had skills. Garcia, a 35-year-old fighter from Philadelphia, has been mostly inactive in recent years, having fought just once since losing to Errol Spence Jr. in 2020. Garcia beat Jose Benavidez Jr. via majority decision in July 2022. Following the victory, a tearful Garcia opened up to share that he'd been struggling with mental health issues. The bout marked Garcia's first at super welterweight after beating the likes of Eric Morales twice, Amir Khan, Zab Judah, Lucas Mathis, Lamont Peterson, Paul Malignaggi, Robert Guerrero, and Brandon Rios across 140 and 147 pounds. Garcia, who considered himself a Hall of Fame fighter even before facing Spence, also has narrow decision losses to Keith Thurman and Sean Porter. Ben has been a career-long welterweight, but has fought above 147 pounds in his last two fights. Ben beat Dobson at a 150-pound catchweight and Rodolfo Orozco at 154 pounds before that in September. Subscribe. Please like and comment. This is very important for the development of the channel. See you later.